If you guys do go on to enjoy today's video, please drop a like in the video, subscribe to the channel with your bell notifications turned on. Now let's get into the video. All right, yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. So I've tried to record this video now three times, and OBS is just like, I don't want to work. So we're going to give this a go. I've changed a couple of settings, so we're going to give this a go. So we're going to be talking about the 2K21 current gen gameplay. I'm not going to show the trailer because I don't know if 2K will shaft me for that, but I've taken a couple of screenshots. Uh, just in this, just of stuff I want to talk about in the actual video. So if we're looking at... This is just, just this first screenshot here. Now, I don't know why 2K chose this scenario of all things. Like, there's a perfectly good clip of Lillard hitting a game winner and then waving to a certain someone. So I don't know why 2K didn't just recreate that of all things, but might be looking into that a bit too deep. Now, first thing, this, <laughs> it looks like 2K20. Like, it's come out uh, that 2K21 current gen is being made by a different developer. Now, it might be to be a different team, but but the 2K21 on next gen is being done by the main people that do to that do NBA 2K. Now, say with that what you will, but I'm kind of like, eh. Now, if we go to the next screenshot, Lillard, he looks good. Lillard looks really good. It you know it just has that death stare into his defender, but. Yeah, Lillard does actually look really good, like, in terms of, like, his close-up. Now, this is a trailer, but it is current gen gameplay, but, so that should be Lillard in-game, and he does look really good. Now, if we're looking at the shot meter, now, if I just zoom in, eh, the shot meter is a bit... So, the way it looks, right, is, if I just, probably zoomed in a little bit too much there. Now, if I just get a little paint, so we're just gonna, if I get a little... So, say this is the shot meter. A very terrible shot. <laughs> I'm just going to ignore that. So, it looks like, if I just follow my mouse, can you see, like, this little black thing in the middle? Like, it looks like it's split. That seems to be, like, the new perfect release. That seems to be the new, like, 100% is going to go in. Now, the shot meter itself looks kind of ugly, but it kind of makes a little more sense. So, it, you've got these yellow bits. And that's kind of like your early slash very slash little early and your little early a little late and late and obviously these are just very late very early probably not going to go in these are kind of like you're probably 80 to 90 percent probably going to go in and then this little bit in the middle is your 100 percent you'd think you're 100 percent going in so the shot meter while it looks ugly i'm probably going to turn it off anyway if you still get the boost of turn off your shot meter to get a little bit of an extra boost if you get a to get a green but in terms of how the shot meter looks, I'm not really a massive fan of it personally. Now, if you can change the shot meter like you can this year in 2K20, you can change it to the old 2K17 shot meter. If you can change it to 2K20s, I'm probably going to do that if you don't get the boost of turning your shot meter off. Now, for on to the next one. Go, oh, whoa, let's zoom out. Now, the neighborhood's changed, which, yeah, it's... Thank you, first of all, because the neighborhood hasn't changed in so long. It basically feels like a copy a copy and paste almost every year, except for 2K16. Well, no, 2K16 was a copy and paste as well, except it was at night. But anyway, 2K17 was pretty much where they revamped the neighborhood, and now they re seems like they're revamping it again. I hope, obviously, the first three months of playing this game, it's not going to carry over into 2K21 next gen. So that can be a little... I'd hope you get something if you started on 2K21 current gen and then transfer over to next gen. I hope 2K give you something. Obviously, you get the extra VC, but I don't really count that because it's still your player, obviously. Now, if we're looking at the final screenshot, obviously, the NCAA seems to be because the this actual jersey is a real jersey. It's from uh, the Gators, obviously, college team. Now, people, I think, are a little too excited about this because you saw what happened with 2K16. Obviously, this was almost five years ago at this point, but you could play in high school and you could play in college, but it was basically four games of each. So, I think people are reading this a little bit too much. Like, I think if you lower your expectations and it turns out to be brilliant, then obviously more power to you. But if you're building hype for that, college might be a big thing in my career. Past experiences have said 2K are kind of like, nah. Even when you went to, like, uh, China to play basketball over there, it re it kind of, like, hindered the game, I would say, more than anything. So, yeah, guys, that's just my brief little thoughts on the trailer. Um, It looks okay, but this trailer kind of makes me think it's 2K20. So, 
I mean, I'm excited for the game, don't get me wrong, cause just because 2K20 is dead now, and I just want a new game to play. So, in terms of that, I'm excited for it, but I have a few... What's the word? Concerns, that's the word. So, I am excited for the most part, but we'll just have to wait and see when the game drops on September 4th. I'm looking forward to 2K releasing some info on my team, because still nothing has been said. But, uh, yeah, that's it for the video, guys. If you guys have enjoyed, please drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're brand new around here. Take a look at it. And peace. I don't know why I'm typing peace in my mouth.